This is Mark Krikorian again on the U.S.-Mexico border. I'm standing on a boat ramp that the Border Patrol and the Department of Public Safety use to get boats into the Rio Grande, which they use for patrolling. And behind me is Mexico, but is a sliver, like a finger of Mexico that sticks up into the United States because of the way the Rio Grande meanders north and south and north and south as it makes its way eastward toward the Gulf of Mexico, which isn't that far from here. We're on private land, and the interesting thing, though, is that there is a border fence in this area, but we're on the other side of it, the Mexican side of it, as, as it were, precisely because of the way the river meanders. And Border Patrol built the fence and kind of a levee as well as a fence about 10 years ago on this land, which the landowners owned. It's been in her family for 100 years. She was initially quite skeptical of it because a significant portion of the land that she farms, leases out for farming, is on this other side, this Mexican side of the wall. But the utility of it and the success of it in deterring and slowing illegal crossings here convinced her that it was definitely worth having the border wall. There's a, there's a gate in it that uh, the landowner obviously has the uh, code for so that they can access their own land, but this is one of the many examples in Texas, and only in Texas, not in Arizona or California, where a landowner's land is split by the border fence because it just can't be built right along the river.